Next, we're going to be honored with a poem by one of the members of, read by one of the members of the Linden Board of Education, Mrs. G Ms. Guillaume, and one of our youngest students, Kylie. And the poem was written, so very beautiful I might add, by our own first grade teacher, Mrs. Nancy Kobalar. So please applaud Ms. Guillaume. So the poem is titled, Thoughts About Black History, Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. Yesterday they were stolen from their beautiful culture and spiritually. Treated like an oddity, a commodity to be bought and sold. Yet their spirits were not broken. They never give up their dreams to escape those chains. And the chance for their lives to remain. They preserved and engineered till slavery was no more. Then public fight, civil rights, segregation, and inclination voter reservation. All helped to survive, but not yet allowed to thrive. Be proud, get loud, dominate society, history should be. Talk as true, the one to write your history is you. Today, even though we have black president, it is evident, there is so much work to do. Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Eric Gardner, just to name a few. When black lives are lost, we all pay the cost. Many years of injustice and prejudice have evolved. The struggle has not been resolved. Be proud, get loud, dominate society and history should not be taught as true. The one to write your history is you. Tomorrow, inspired by those who have gone before, we can open the door to a new place where everyone is, respected for their race, and who they are. We will learn from our yesterday the better ways to be strong and not repeat the wrongs. Be proud, get loud, dominate society. History should not be taught as true. The one to write in your history is you. Thank you. Wow. Ms. Young, thank you. Kylie, amazing. Let's hear it one more time, please. Well done.